This is my first attempt at making an electric phonograph. On the right hand side of the case there are the power supplies and a speed control unit made from a kit which drive a simple 12 volt electric motor here and through a belt the mechanism above. On the left hand side of the case there are kit amplifiers and tone control and the input comes in through the shielded area at the back. On the front panel there is volume control, treble and uh, bass and outputs to headphones and a power switch at the bottom here. On the right hand side of the case there are the main power switches and a speed control here. On the end of the case is a separate control to control the level being played through the recording side of the amplifier. The top works are from an Edison Standard Model A, um, not in very good condition, um, but it works okay. And the tone arm is a homemade job with a Stanton 500 cartridge. So let's hear the thing run. First of all, switch the power on and now put on the cylinder. Start the motor, turn on the audio. As you can hear, the motor is pretty noisy, but it doesn't make electrical noise. Tone con the tone controls are at the top. Now she was friendly every day. She'd lean across the fence and talk about the neighbour just as if she had some sense. She'd borrow kisses and she'd say she had a friend to see. I used to think it funny she had not invited me. I learned the fact a week ago that really made me mad. My husband was the only company she ever had. Now I didn't on the end of the mandrel is a wheel with reflectors on it to be read by a contactless tachometer. The speed control is analog. And this machine was used for recording m many of the early uh, CDs for the reference series of books. This job has now been passed to the Mark II, which is on another video. So there we have it, the Mark I electric phonograph. Thank you.